Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Free Call. This is the uh, England game. Yeah, so we're um, we're working our way up to uh, declaring independence at some point in the next hundred turns or so. And uh, to do that, we're just building up artillery in St. John's here. And that's going to take a moment. So uh, let's just uh, get, get things rolling here. Because obviously... Uh, we need to move time along or we're never going to get anywhere, right? Oh, look, we're getting enough hardy pioneers to run an army here. Uh, right. Okay, so... Um, right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, okay. So, Cooper's Cove, how are we doing here? Uh, we have... Well, stuff happening. Okay. Uh, so, what we're going to do is uh, this guy. Uh, we're going to put a road there. Uh, we're going to sell something to the Arawak. It's going to be cigars. And we're going to... Yeah, we're going to accept that offer, obviously, because it's good, and uh, cancel that. And now if we look in here, um, right, they're not looking for cigars anymore, uh, but these guys are are uh, looking for them. So, uh, right, so we'll go find the boat, yep, and then we can go to there. Okay, that gives us... Uh, uh, another uh, set of stuff. Now you can see as the uh, turns flash by here that the AI currently really sucks at uh, settling things, right? Uh, well, actually, we should we should have uh, sent that guy back to um, I don't know St. John's probably. Uh, right? Okay. Uh, reduce, reduce, reduce. Yada yada yada. Reached its uh, musket's uh, limit. Yep. Uh, we can stick this guy in here. Yeah. Um, is that what we want to do? Maybe. Maybe. What are we? Uh, what are we overflowing on? Um. Meh, yeah, nothing in particular. Okay. Well, uh, what have we got here? Um, right. Okay. We'll put the ship in London to sleep, right? Um, we're going to check in on here. Now, we're producing 22 lumber. And... We're going to be taking most of that out. Um, right. So, uh, we have... Uh, well, right. We, we have... Um, we have 20 tools, so we can... Uh, we can go over, over there. Right. Okay. Sell. Cigars, twelve fifty, yeah. Okay. Cancel. Okay. Well, we've sold some stuff, and that's good. So that boat can go back to St. John's, right? Uh, over here, no, we're not doing anything there. Um, right, we've got five k. Wait, what can we? Uh, we can purchase a frigate for 5k. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's check something. If we were to go in here. Uh, oh, wow. No. Uh, close. Uh, so... Right. So we could purchase a frigate. 
Is that worth doing? Maybe. And you can go to New England. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll grab a, a frigate uh, just because uh, having a couple of boats means we can harass the uh, Royal Expeditionary Force a little bit. And that's kind of worth doing. Is if we can sink a, uh, uh, a man of war with uh, troops on board, we can, uh, we can actually uh, help our uh, survival chances, right? Uh, we have a newspaper here. Okay. Uh, right. 80%. Okay. Uh, capacity for horses, tools. Uh, reduced. Right. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Now, what what are we uh, doing here? We are probably putting a road there. Uh, where are we? We got an artillery coming up in Harbor Grace. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a chance of upgrades on the uh, the uh, lumberjacks there. We get a couple upgrades there, and Harbor Grace will be uh, moving along pretty uh, substantially for producing artillery. Uh, and that's kind of what we want to do. We want artillery, right? Um, one of the reasons that defending with artillery is uh, better is uh, when it loses, the opponent can't acquire horses from it, right? Uh, right. Uh, they added a man of war. Right. We have an artillery here. Right. James Fort has an arsenal. Uh, we have a colonist in Cooper's Cove. Is that uh, beneficial? Um, maybe. You can work as a ore miner, right? Yep. And you can go in here. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that. That uh, definitely is a good, uh, that's a good operation because then we got tools coming in for here. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, uh, reduced, 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 etc. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Um, where are we? You know what? Let's put a road there. Uh, you can go there, right? And we have a frigate. Well, let's park the frigate. Here. Okay. And here we have a road. Uh, we move the okay. Unload that right. Um, okay. Now in here, take you off the dock. Okay. Now let's uh, keep on on ticking, right? So what we uh, what we want to get is a few uh, frigates kicking about and uh, slow the uh, expeditionary force down. Uh, well, let's grab a free colonist. Um, right, a hardy pioneer used up his tools, reduce, reduce, etc. Uh, an Aztec convert in Roanoke. Um, 
Well, what we can do is work as a silver miner there. Because, you know, why not have more silver, right? And what, well, that means that we've got uh, basically maximum silver mining going there. Uh, right. Good. Yeah, that guy can fortify, that guy can fortify. You can go to London. You can get on board and you can be a Dragoon. Yep. And you can go to St. John's. Okay. Now, uh, you are a Pioneer. What can we do with the Pioneer? Well... Uh, it seems what we can possibly do is improve some tiles. Yeah, that's kind of the point of a pioneer, isn't it? Uh, right, over here, yeah. We'll put a road there, right? We got a turn for an artillery in, in St. John's, yeah. So we're making uh, an artillery basically every two years game time. Uh, right. We have an artillery. What have we got here? An expert or miner uh, through experience. Okay. Right. Uh, right. What have we got here? Nothing exciting. Yeah, nothing exciting. Uh, no tools. Okay, we'll go to St. John's with that guy. Uh, right. Uh, fortify. Yeah. Put a road there. Uh, what did we get, get here? A boat. Right. Okay, let's take a look. What do... Um, what do you want? Uh, cloth, maybe. And you want cloth, maybe. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Cloth. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? Nothing. Uh, of that sort. Okay. Well... In that case, why don't you go to London? Yeah. Okay, moving along here with uh, just doing stuff. And he just saw the AI plopped yet another colony in there. Uh, we'll grab a free colonist. And we have a colonist here in Nunsuch. Now, what do we do with a colonist in Nunsuch? Well, we can obviously uh, add an ore miner here. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, probably a little bit better. Um, okay. Good. James Fort. We have an expert ore miner. So now we are producing a surplus of ore in... Uh, uh, James Fort. Right. Well, we can live with that. Uh, what have we got? Uh, used up his tools. Uh, we have a ship in London. You can be a Dragoon. Okay. What have we got here? Your warehouse in St. John's. Um... Yep, okay. Put the ship in London to sleep, right? Um, okay, so what have we got here? We've got... Uh, not really anything we can do here. Um, yeah, not really. Okay, so bring that guy around. 
Uh, what did we get here? We got a... Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll uh, unload the carrier, right? And you... Um, we'll clear the specialty on there. Okay. We'll make you a dragoon. Yeah. Okay. And you can come back over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work for a while. Okay. Good. Definitely good. Okay. Uh, we're... Okay. Now we move uh, move forward to yet more turns, right? Because, you know, turns. And this is the problem with these types of games. They tend to get repetitive and tedious as you progress, right? And that, uh, that doesn't particularly uh, help anything. Um, that's a colonist who we can, uh, equip as a scout. Yeah, that's what we should do. We should just equip, uh, everybody as scouts here. Right, right. We can, we can move, uh, horses around that way. Okay. Uh, we have a warehouse expansion here and we're building nothing. Okay. What can we build here? that is going to do something useful. Um, we can build a custom house or a printing press. Let's build a printing press, a newspaper, and then a custom house. Yeah. Maybe an armory at some point. Yeah, okay. Um, right. And if we drag you over here, yeah, okay. Nah, we don't need to do that yet. No, we'll do that. Okay. Nah. You make up your mind, would you? Well, you know, making up my mind would be a little bit too organized, right? Uh, where are we here? We are doing stuff. Nothing is being built. We already dealt with that, right? Yeah, we did. Good. There are lots of muskets in St. John's. Yep. Um, okay. Where are we? We're in a place. Uh, right, right. We want to fortify somebody there. Um, why don't you just go over there? You can fortify. We'll send a ship to London. And we have uh, made a road all the way through there. Now let's uh, just keep making roads around there. Yeah, you know, just something to do. Uh, now, in London, we don't have anything exciting going on. Uh, well, I'll also park my privateers around here uh, to slow up the uh, expeditionary force even more um, when I declare independence. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to uh, check in here. Uh, no, I want to check in here. We got artilleries. We got a dragoon that's a preacher. Okay, so we'll... Uh, uh, orders. Um, can we clear specialty from here? Um, no. Okay, so we'll go through here. Master distiller. Uh, why am I clearing the specialties here? Uh, I'm doing that uh, because it uh, then they can actually take a promotion if they win a fight uh, and that uh, that makes the defense stronger um, 
Right. Uh, so petty uh, criminals, uh, uh, indentured servants, and free colonists can get. Uh, uh, what if we make this bigger? Okay. Uh, they can get a promotion uh, if they uh, uh, win a uh, fight, uh, which can be, uh, that can be uh, useful, actually. That's a tobacconist. Okay. Uh, I'm also doing this because it allows me to tally the... Uh, uh, Continental Army uh, uh, stuff a little bit better. If we go and look in the military advisor report, uh, so we've got 34 dragoons, 25 uh, artillery, 10 veteran dragoons, and one scout, right? So that's what I'm uh, I'm looking at, right? Um, so, uh, so that's the, uh, the overall, uh, plan, right, is to, uh, to do that. And, uh, we're going to grab a free colonist, uh, right. We have an artillery there. Uh, if we go in here, we can do this. Uh... We don't have the cash to equip as uh, a dragoon, so we'll just send back to St. John's. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Now, um, everything's doing the reduced production thing, right? Okay. So far, so good. Uh, put the boat in London to sleep. You can go in there. And you should be at the bottom, right? Okay, so we'll fortify. And then we'll equip as a dragoon. Okay. That gives us uh, uh, more dragoons. Uh, you can go in there and, f whoops, you can, uh, I guess, you can go right here, yeah, you can make a, what, no tools, ah, uh, okay, so we'll go in here, clear specialty, and uh, we'll equip as a Dragoon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hardy Pioneer. 80 tools. Okay. If we go over there, we can add... Over there being the other Desert Scrub. Uh, that gets me a spot where I can put in uh, another road. Uh, right? Okay, now we have an artillery. Uh, and now we are producing uh, substantially more uh, lumber here. We're producing 28 lumber here. We are. Okay. Uh, Harbor Grace is uh, 30 lumber short per turn. Is it? Yeah. It is. So uh, the next uh, upgrade in uh, Henricus there will uh, get get everything uh, online uh, faster. Okay. Um, right. Right. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, we have a boat in London. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll fortify the artilleries in St. John's. Uh, we'll make a road there. We'll make a road there. Uh, we'll make a road there. We'll send you to St. John's. Okay. Um, okay, so so the uh, the idea is, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, is I'm going to concentrate a stack of defense in uh, uh, St. John's. And then uh, uh, when the expeditionary force comes, they'll probably take, uh, they'll probably go for uh, Hampton, Nunsuch, and Popham. And also Cooper's Cove. They'll, they'll probably go for these uh, four first uh, because they're coastal, right? Uh, and they're uh, weaker targets, which will spread out the uh, expeditionary force a little bit and also blunt their charge a bit. Now, if they take over the colonies, that's potentially a problem as well. But uh, if I have a huge pile of stuff uh, in St. John's, they have to take all of my coastal cities at least. So if I defend St. John's, then... Uh, I just have to blunt them and then take back my cities, and I should be generally okay. Yeah, uh, the turn where I declare independence is going to take a long, uh, a long time to run through. Uh, right. What are we going to do? We're going to grab a master carpenter, apparently. Uh, and in Roanoke, we have an expert. Yeah. Um, we got all of our reduced. And right, horses are getting cheaper. Right. Um, right. You get in there. Uh, we're going to clear the specialty there. Right. Um, okay. Okay. Right. Moving along, uh, we're just about to the point where I'm going to put the cut in for this, uh, this episode. So we'll unload here. Right. Um, good. Yeah, I'm thinking probably about 1720, 1730. I might uh, go for independence. Uh, okay. So we have a fort in James Fort. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have a new colonist in Hampton. Um, do we have anything that would benefit here? Not especially. No. Okay, well, we can send the colonist. Well, actually, we can make the colonist into a dragoon. That's what we can do. Yep. Uh, we have a custom house here, which might or might not be useful. Uh, what can we build here that we aren't uh, building? Uh, well, it occurs to me that possibly a... Uh, well, I'm not... Well, a blacksmith shop might be useful. And maybe a dry dock. Yeah. Okay, well, we can definitely do that. Uh, Hampton, we have an expert lumberjack now. Okay. Um, we have an expert ore miner here. Yep. Okay. And we have a shortage of tobacco in St. John's. Uh, right. Okay. Well, we'll go in here. We'll buy the custom house. Yep. What are we building after it? 
well, uh, what what should we build after it? Uh, that's a good question. Well, um, you know what? Uh, we'll chuck in artillery there. It'll take forever to build artillery here, but uh, there's no particular reason not to. Uh, okay. Close. Uh, okay. Uh, Hampton will exceed its uh, capacity for rum. Okay. We need to go collect rum and sell something. Nothing's being built here. What? No. We've already... Right, we've already dealt with that. Uh, okay. Uh, you are a trade route. Okay. Uh, what are we uh, looking at here? Hampton. Okay. Um, you're a dragoon. You can go there. You can... Right. Scout. Yep. You can go here. Right. Okay. Uh, in here, we probably should build a warehouse and an expansion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next turn. Right. Uh, I think after this turn, I'm going to put the cut. So then, uh, I guess, uh, we'll, um, we'll see what, uh, what the scenario is. Okay. Well, we'll grab the farmer. We have a custom house there. Cooper's Cove. We have an expert fisherman. Yay. Uh, right. Uh, we got all of this jazz here, right, right, okay, good. Now, we'll go in here, and we will clear the specialty. You can go in there, yep, and we can head to St. John's, yep, okay. Uh, you... I uh, can uh, fortify and equip as a dragoon. Yes? Yes, you can do that. Uh, you, what can you do? Um, you can go up on the mountain, right? And you, you can grab one of those, take that back out again. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, you, do you want rum? You're not saying you want rum. You're not saying you want rum. Uh, you are not saying you want rum. Well... Um, you are a, you are going up here and you might as well head up there and see if, uh, they want the rum. Okay. Now, uh, okay. We're doing okay there. Yep. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, we're uh, coming up on $16.99 uh, for the next turn, and we're, we're doing okay. So let's just check in, and we have here the military advisor. We're up to 27 artillery, 38 dragoons, uh, or uh, 48 dragoons. So uh, we're, uh, 
we're getting to a point where we might uh, we might actually stand some sort of a chance, right? Um, I should probably send a yeah, I should send at least an artillery to uh, uh, to um, James Fort, I think. No, James Fort's inland. No, we're fine. Okay. So that's gonna be that's gonna be all for this episode. Uh, I figure uh, you know we probably got two, maybe three, uh, maybe a couple more episodes like this of building up. Then we'll declare independence, and that will be probably a jumbo episode. Uh, and then once we win independence, uh, that'll basically be the end, uh, because we'll have basically won. And uh, yeah, that's really that's the goal here, right? So, uh, so that's going to be all for this this episode. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. You know there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want. If you don't, don't. And see you back next time.